From the vault. From right. the vault. So, let's do what this. What do we got? Well, first up. Thinking feather. You got the trademark. I make the hardware. This is a <coughs> bonnet. Yeah. Uh, and then we have a feather. Um, so we're going to be doing some more ink stuff, but now under the th Think Ink brand name. Uh, so this is the feather wing. The other side has got uh, the SRAM and the output and the SD yeah. card kind of all tucked in together. Speaking of ink. Also like, oh, let's make an e-ink gizmo. I have to put the Think Ink logo on it too. Yeah. Now that I think of it. Now that I think ink of it. This is the back of the feather. STM32 F405. It's coming together. We're almost done testing it. Just a little bit more. Um, this is the back silk screen that's going to go with. Featuring the teeny USB, we wanted to highlight that teeny USB uh, is driving the support for this uh, Feather and Circuit Python and uh, in Arduino um, as well soon. And uh, we also have a Stemma Relay because we wanted to have people be able to plug and play relay projects. We've got plug and play Stemma speaker and servo relays next. And then um, this is like you, that little 1.14 inch TFT. Well, we turned it into a little Raspberry Pi add-on. Uh, and we even have kernel driver support for it. So you can have the console up here. And you think like, oh, that's a really small screen, but it's pretty high resolution. So you can actually do quite a bit of console work um, right on that little display and two buttons. Edge badge, it's like a Pi badge, but now has microphone input. I gotta get that working. Um, and speaking of which, here's a 3D printed, this is 3D printed. It looks like it's injection mold, but it's not. 3D printed, um, sweet, case designed by Mike Dole for the Pi Badge. Coming soon from Carter, we'll have a guide. I have a video with past you oh, talking yeah? about this. Okay, well, so let's, let's just play the video. Hey, Dana, what is this? This is me testing out the new USB-C plus Stemma powered uh, FT232H breakout. Uh, Carter just did a great guide on using this with a computer so you can write Python on your computer and control hardware. And in addition, he just uh, submitted a pull request to the NeoPixel library that'll let you drive NeoPixel. And you're like, how are you doing that? Well, we're taking advantage of the ultra high speed SPI port and we're sending just the right uh, bit pattern to let it control NeoPixels. But the code I'm running is on my Windows computer. Pretty amazing. Check this out. Command. Okay. Boom. Very cool. And next up, this is uh, something playing around with. This is a Pi Portal. And this is a little triangular-like piece of plastic that when you put it on top, it looks like a uh, hologram. It's a neat effect. They're low cost and I'm um, trying to sample all of them to figure out which one would look best, I think, for especially young people to make their own images and make their own little holograms without, you know, all the things you need to make a real hologram. It's yeah, I love it. This is cool. such a cool, it's like the Pepper's yeah. Ghost thing, but it's yeah. very effective.